Hello everyone, this is Ajay Kumar from crazyforias.com and in this video we are going to discuss the second topic of lucent biology that is related with living. Now what is living? The word living cannot be defined. Living organism mostly use the solar energy. We know it really very well that we receive energy from sol, from our sun from where there is a photo process known as a photosynthesis and after photosynthesis most of the plant convert their this light energy into the food energy from where uh, the living organism get their energy there are certain characteristics which uh, separate the living beings from the non-living beings as per the biology so the first quality the first characteristic which is which distinguish the living beings from the non-living beings is the growth most of the living beings show the growth in their cells or mass when there is an increase in the number of cells or number of uh, when there is a increase in number of cell or increase in the mass of a organism it is called growth and it is only shown by the living beings second quality second property is the reproduction living organism produces young ones of their same kind so almost all of the living beings show the reproduction otherwise it is difficult to survive and now the third characteristic third characteristic is the metabolism what is the metabolism when you will take the food the food is converted into the energy how that energy is how that food is converting into the energy through a chemical reaction is known as the metabolism similar is the fourth characteristic response to stimuli have the sense to condition their surrounding and response to their stimuli consider if we consider the human beings jaise temperature kam hota hai when there is a fall in the temperature automatically our body start to shiver show that the heat can be generated in the body to tackle the decreasing temperature outside in the, in the similar way when we touch the leaves of touch me not plant they get close these movement are called the seismonastic movement jab hum touch me not plant ko touch karte hain wo apne aap close ho jata hai and when it close the movement the name given this movement is seismonastic movement right this is the second topic in the lucent so these are the four points which you have to fix in your brain that what are the main characteristics of the living beings only four are given here but other also there but you should put up these four points in your brain that is growth reproduction metabolism and response of stimuli now there is a third point the classification of organisms the organism are divided to categorize okay linus linus divided all organism into two kind first is a plantae and second is animalia in his book known as a systema nature now yahan se ek important question banta hai linus who divided uh, the organism into two kingdom plantae and animalia it's the linus and what is the uh, who written the books system systema nature that is written by the linus the foundation of the modern classification started by linus okay this is a very very important question that's why i have written here q linus is called as the father of taxonomy because he first first time started to classification and the classification is known as studied under the taxonomy so the father of taxonomy is the linus the work plantarium now there is a other book genera plantarium which is it written by bentham and hooker there are five kingdom of classification five kingdom classification was proposed in 1969 uh, this is really very important there is a question from here which i have highlighted that in 1969 rh whitaker has classified the kingdom in the five types and that five types uh, has been defined on the basis of complexity of the cell complexity of the body organism mode of nutrition lifestyle and phylogenetical relationship in the similar way living world has been defined into the five types that is monera protista fungi plantae animalia i have made a trick for that map pf m for monera a for animalia p for plantae so map is a simple word jo hamare dimag ke andar hai m for monera 
A for Animalia, P for Plantae, and P for Protesta, F for Fungi. So this map fun. So you can remember it map fun se bhi aap yaad rakh sakte ho. Fun se aap yaad rakhenge fungi. And M for Monera, Animalia, Plantae, Protesta, Fungi. That is map is a fun. That is a simple trick which can be used here. Now we are going to discuss the Monera first time. Now the first point is Monera. Now, if we think from the, these are the prokaryotic cells. Those uh, include the prokaryotic cell organisms. Now, prokaryotic cell ke andar ek word aata hai. O. O se hum yaad rakh sakte hai. Old. All the prokaryotic cells are old organism. This include bacteria, cyanobacteria and archaeobacteria. Filamentous bacteria become also this kingdom. All organism are this microscopic. Only microscopic organism uh, which include all prokaryotic organism like bacteria, cyanobacteria are the monera. And what are the prokaryotic cell? Those are the old cell. Matlab jo starting mein thi, usko hum bolte hai prokaryotic. Uske baad uska evolution ho gaya, to wo ban gi u. U ko hum yaad rakh sakte hai. New. Means the new cell after evolution is known as the eukaryotic cell okay the second is protista this kingdom include unicellular from the aquatic habitat these include autotroph parasite sparophyte diatom flagella and protozoa come under this kingdom eugelin have both heterotropic and autotropic mode of nutrition so place between plantae and animalia now question आ जाता है कि diatom यहाँ से question बनता है diatom flagella flagellates is related with monera protista fungi plantae animalia so diatom flagellates and protozoa are is related with protista ये examples आपको याद करने हैं these are really very very important now one more example has been given here eugelina eugelina have both heterotopic and autotopic mode of nutrition now we are talking about the fungi now third is fungi all the non green plants all the non green plants come here all the non green plants all the non green plants are known as a fungi these are sporophytic nutrition these are the uh, these will take the sporophytic nitration for growth uh, and depend upon the dead and decaying organic matters. This is the special features of the fungi or in jo cell wall hai, that is made of chitin. Jo in ki cell wall hai, cell wall is made up of chitin and the best example is mushroom. Mushroom is well known for fungi, mushroom, muco, albugo etc. Ab hum baat karte plant ki. These include all plants. Okay. Is in the sare plant out there except algae, diatom, fungi, and number of monera and protesta. Animalia, sare sare jo animals and that come under animalia except protozoa. Protozoa kaha pe aata hai? Protozoa. Yaha pe humne study kara tha na? P for protozoa, P for protesta. So this come under protozoa come under P for protest. Okay. P se hum yaad rakhenge protozoa and protesta. To yaha pe ye de rakha hai. Now binomical nomenclature first name jo hota hai hamara always is a genus jo hamara genus hai that is our first name uh, jo ki capital letter ke sath hota hai and second letter is species jo consider hame de diya homo sapiens to isme homo kya hai question kaise aa sakta hai ki isme homo kya hai homo is the genus and this is the species वो जो हमारे जीनस है वो कैपिटल लेटर के साथ स्टार्ट होता है और स्पीशीज स्मॉल लेटर के साथ ये है बेसिक यूनिट ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन कहां से शुरू होती है बेसिक यूनिट क्लासिफिकेशन की है स्पीशीज की कौन सी स्पीशीज का बंदा है कार्लोस जो लिनस है ना इज नोन एज द फादर ऑफ टैक्सोनॉमी ये क्वेश्चन हमने मल्टीपल टाइम डिस्कस कर लिया है दैट कार्लोस लिनस इज द फादर ऑफ टैक्सोनॉमी नाउ here some important keywords are given for the some organism which you should remember for your exam and really very important and the first one is rice rice the scientific name for rice is or is a sativa second is wheat triticum avestium third one is man homo sapien mango 
mangifera indica gram siso eritinum dog dog ke andar hota canis aur cat ke andar hota phallus dog ke andar hota canis familiarius and phallus domesticum mustard brassica tempestis house fly mosca domestica p now here is domestica house fly uh, uh, jo house fly hai uske andar bhi domestica hai and cat ke andar bhi domestica hai so these are uh, actually ek hi species ki hai ye cat and house fly because both contain domestica this is the relation which you have to understand for your exam and the type frog ke liye use hum use karte hain rana tigrina okay cow ke liye boss indicus boss indicus p ke liye pisum setvium so this is our this is the first class this is the second class of lucent biology in english i hope you will like it in the next video or in the second or third next video i will provide you the practice set for the questions so that you will be able to retain the information for exam please don't forget to watch that video and solve karna mat bhulna un questions ko and if you like our content please don't forget to like our video and share our video this is my upi id ajayror@sbi you are requested to please make a 100 rupees contribution for the growth of my organization i need the funding to expand my organization crazy4is.com where you can contribute by checking our qualities so if you like our content please make a contribution on ajayror@sbi upi id i will be thankful to you thank you